What's up, Ravens fans? Welcome back to Facebook Live. We were joined two weeks ago by Max Williams, and he had so much fun that he decided to come back. And this time, he brought a friend, Nick Boyle, in his tight end position group. I think you guys are the first position group that we've had everyone on Facebook Live now. So you're welcome. It's a big honor. Thanks, Max. <laughs> That's all Max is doing here. All right, so Max, you wanted to bring Nick on. You guys, you told me that you guys are like an old married couple. Why is that? I don't think we're like an old married couple. It's more like everyone thinks we're a married everyone couple. You are. He's just the mean, big, older brother that just tries <laughs> to bully everyone. No, it's not yeah, who I 100% am. true. It's what it is is that we've been together here for four years and um, that you're a bully. <laughs> I'm not a bully. Just Max, you know, has to be outspoken in everything he does. So you just have to keep him in line. Yeah. Oh, is that what that's, it is? That's, that's what job. it is. Yeah. You got to keep me in line. So when you guys were rookies, you were roommates, correct? In yeah. camp, and then uh, when we got drafted, right so away. So you have to know someone stuff about someone when you room with them that like no one else would know. What's something <laughs> about the <laughs> other <laughs> one that no one else would know? Uh, I know Max can say about me, but Max is like the ultimate FaceTimer and caller on the phone. Like you can't be around him and. He'll be, like he'll face, FaceTime like someone, FaceTime. you'll be FaceTiming like say who, you know, your girlfriend or whatever, you FaceTime her for five minutes and then you hang up and then two minutes later you're FaceTime her again. So much easier than texting. Yeah, More but convenient. you just talk to her. But then it's, I gotta ask something, it's convenient. <laughs> So, so you Max, don't text, or, you just so you call. know about Max, he just loves to talk on the phone. He loves to talk no one knows he about loves to Nick. Talk in general. Is if you ever share a room with Nick and you wake up at like three, four in the morning and you think someone's in your room because you hear something, it's Nick in the bathroom eating. <laughs> I, in the I swear. Yeah. I don't have like not. All right. I was in the bathroom because <laughs> you were, <laughs> because I, I was up. trying to be courteous for Max. I woke up right, and so. I hear munching in a light in the bathroom on in the toilet and the door was shut and I thought someone was in our room. And also Nick just opens the door and goes, "I was eating. Sorry." And well, I was so I wake confused. Up every, every like every night around two and probably like either drink it's milk snack. or eat. Yeah. Okay. So it's not just a one-time thing. It's no. no, it happened yeah, like yeah. almost every other night. My question yeah. is, if you FaceTime that often, do you FaceTime him when you guys are no. He doesn't answer. <laughs> he won't text you back. He screens your call. I do text you You don't ever text back. You're annoying. The only time he texts you back is when he wants to talk to you about something. False. So true. About, like, then maybe if I don't text you back, it's because it's something that's not important. No, it's because you're probably playing video games. <laughs> probably. See? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're taking fan questions here. So Dennis has a question for you. Dennis? What's it like? Dennis says, how's it being in a tight end room with so many talented guys? Do you guys feed off each other, or do you focus on taking their job? Wow, harsh. <laughs> I love that. That's, it's the NFL right there. It's the NFL. <laughs> right. I'll go for it. I'll go for it. So, like, uh, I think I like to say that this group we've had this year is probably uh, one of the closest groups I've been a part mm -hmm. of. Um, we do a lot of things outside of the building, which I really haven't done a lot of before this year. So, uh, And we're a lot of, like you said, we're a lot of talented guys. You got a first-rounder, Hayden, you got a third-rounder, Mark, and... I think I'm kind of talented. I think Max is talented <laughs> too. So uh, it's cool, and I think it's cool for our offense that we're allowed to give a lot of different looks and different variations of what we all can do and contribute at once. And that, I think it's fun because me and Nick are the oldest guys in the room and only our fourth year. Mm -hmm. So you look at our past. We had That's Dennis, who's older. Last year we had Ben. The year before that, Ben. So really it's that fun stuff outside here, doing pizza nights at Nick's, the Christmas gifts, this, the stupid gifts we got each other. But it, it's all been fun, and what it's fun to be out there. each other for Christmas? Nick got an RC, RC car. car that goes like 70 miles per hour. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's fun. I drive it all the time. That's and a bird scooter. I'm a big, yeah, I'm a big toy guy. I love toys. All right. Let's see. We have Matthew said, what runs through your head when you're about to hurdle someone in a game, Nick? <laughs> Sometimes I'll have to say it's pretty, like, if I think I'm going to get the ball, like, I know the call in the huddle, obviously. So if I get the ball and I think I have space, sometimes it's almost predetermined. Like Sometimes. You know, like, yeah, like, all right, if guy. I get this ball and I'm in space and – I'm going against a defensive back. I'm just going to hurdle him. So a lot of times it's made up. Sometimes it's kind of on the run if I have space. It's all, it all depends. But uh, I don't know. It's kind of just like a just do it and see what happens kind of a thing. Is that something you practice? Like Not really. I think like, I, I had a thing you before. Your wife make a run like, at like, you. Like, I used to be a skateboarder. So, okay. And so, okay. Uh, Especially, get a skateboard. He'll do a kickflip in here yeah. right now. I've seen <laughs> it. Like, uh, and it's all like you don't even have to jump. I just got to lift your knees up yeah. really to clear them. You know what I mean? So. Like you make that sound easy, but like I tried hurdles yeah. in high school and it wasn't it wasn't easy yeah. for me. Helps Jump high. that fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this is good. Good follow up question from Brandon. Who has the highest hurdle between the two of you? 
like vertical? Yeah, I guess. Vertical or hurdle? Like, are we going to pretend I mean, it's, it's the actual it. football stuff? Because I'm definitely better than back. No, <laughs> but athletic ability, I'll take that all day. Okay, that's no. a good trade-off. Yeah. Get a hurdle. So, straight vertical versus actually hurdling someone. I win no, we both. we got to do it. I don't get I win both. Check the numbers. numbers. We'll, we'll follow up on that How many one. hurdles do you have in real life? Uh, just college league, count? No. No, because after... college, sell more than you anyway. No, you don't. You had two in one play, all right. Okay, and all the games that are leading up to it? You had it in the senior bowl, only game you I ever had a college. bunch in college. Don't watch your college game. You guys, there's no proof. Yeah, yeah I don't well. see the old married couple thing at all. <laughs> Mm-mm. Yeah, well. Been together too long. <laughs> all right, Christopher wants to know. He said, Lamar seems to be really in touch with the tight end core as far as receiving. Does that excite you guys, and is there any specific reason for that? I think just Lamar goes out there and has fun. And I think he loves everyone. I mean, I don't think he's ever been out there not having fun with everyone out there. And with every position group. So I think it's more fun just to get out there and play with him because you never know what's going to happen because obviously he's so electrifying and mm-hmm. athletic and stuff. So really it's just overall it's fun with him. Yeah, and I think he throws in tight ends a little bit because I think he knows we're kind of reliable and we're kind of always around whether it's the run game or the pass mm-hmm. game. You know, the run game we have a huge, huge part of it too where we're always by him. So I think we're kind of always around in this corner. Get a sense of you're someone you can, he can count on yeah. to be there. That makes sense. Kyle asks, how are you preparing for this weekend's game and possibly a home playoff game? Uh, this is just still another game. I tell people, yeah, yeah. it's like the same, it's the same it week in, it up in, in a much. different sense. Like, mm-hmm. you know what, every week people say, oh, you know, this defines you this week. I mean, like, well, what about all the other last weeks yeah. we played? You know, I feel like every week you go into, and it's kind of cliche, but it's true where every week, you know, you got to put some good stuff on tape. So, mm-hmm. uh, you know, you want to go out there and put your best foot forward and, you know, execute the plays that are You can't think of ahead to saying, yeah. like, oh, we're going to have a home game, we win this and that. It really, it's or it all comes playing, out of the game. Like, yeah. Yeah, you're you can't, you can't determine anything week, that happens so. after today or tomorrow because obviously yeah. we have to play this game. So really, it's take care of this game, and yeah. whatever happens, happens from there. Then Just you move on and prepare. Emphasis, I guess. I don't know. It's the cliche, but it's a cliche because it's, it's true. true. It's one game at a time. But that's really mm-hmm. all you can do. Yeah. Yeah. If you look, if you look too far ahead, you won't be prepared. You won't be as focused on what you actually have to get done. Oh, don't you know? All right, Jim said, what are your hopes and resolutions for the new year? The New Year's Eve coming up. Any resolutions? I haven't even thought that far ahead. There you go, back to that one day at a time. I'm just going to play with my toys whenever. (laughs) Whenever whenever we win the Super Bowl, whatever happens, happens. I'm going to go home and play video games. Maybe ice fish. All right, fish. there we go. I don't know, regular fish. Ice fish, dude. Just ice fish. Not he regular fish. Do Nick doesn't know how to fish. He's a Jersey guy. I'm taking fishing in the off season. There you go. Resolution, Ooh. learn how to fish. Right. He's, <laughs> He's joking because I can totally outfish him. I'm very avid fisherman in the off season. Have don't don't listen together? to his lies. Don't no, listen I to his lies. I can't fish with Max. You just be like, chat, chat. <laughs> Scare all the fish away. He's, just, he's full of lies. <laughs> All right, Jackson said, do you do players look at the scoreboard during a crucial game? So like Sunday when all of the scenarios are Like with the other out. teams and mm-hmm. stuff? When they're showing them up on the boards, like, especially on this, this kind of game. Oh, uh, with the other? Like you look at the other team's scoreboard? Not yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they show up. You, I mean, you, you don't really have to think about it, but like yeah. you see them. It's but. interesting to see. I mean, it's always fun to see, especially like, Obviously not when you're on the field. Like, I'm not gonna be on the <laughs> oh, field. mid-play, like, oh, what's going on? Oh, yeah, usually, that game? No, but like when there's timeouts or something, you can see it. When we're on the bench yeah. and the defense is out there and it's a timeout. And, oh, you can see all that team's doing yeah. that. I mean, yeah. but really it doesn't really affect what's going on because really we hold our own fate anyways this week. Yep. So it doesn't really matter who's winning or losing as long as we get our business done, it doesn't matter. Exactly. I like that. All right. Tracy wants to know what your favorite uniform color combo is. Black on black. Black on black. Yeah. Like that's I, think that yeah. cool. I think it's the fans' favorite one too. It's just, you know, it's like yeah. a big game. Yeah. No, it's serious. It's just cool. I think. I like. Cool. It. I think it looks the best. Jamie asks, "What's your most memorable play so far?" Play. Year? Yes, and whenever um, your career. Mm-hmm. The one that stands out. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would be probably the first time I scored oh, would have been yeah. rookie year. Oh yeah, yeah. you like to so say that one on live? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just mad. Two point conversion, master. No, I don't know if I have a play in mind, but there's a bunch That's of That's the only one that comes to my mind. I can get back to her on that one. Okay. Well, we'll mm, add him back. on Facebook. Nick Boyle <laughs> with a B. <laughs> Facebook request. <laughs> Mike asks, how much attention do you guys pay to the media hype surrounding the revitalization of this offense? Does that fuel you to perform, or do you shut that out? I don't think it really has an effect. <laughs> yeah. At least on me, I don't really care. Media's media. Nice yeah. And, uh, 
just because like you're gonna go out there and do whatever your coaches teach you, whether it's a new offense or an old offense. Mm -hmm. And you know, it doesn't, that's your job yeah. to go do. The media is so. gonna say that or they'll hype it up or like something yeah. different, but nothing really has changed. We still repair the same every week. It just how our things are getting called now, and that's not anything yeah. we can control. We just go out there and do what we're asked to do. Has, have you felt like the energy has been different, or has it really felt the same for you guys throughout? It's, it's been different in a way because we're winning games. Of course, mm -hmm. it's going to be different when you're winning, you know, whatever the last game. Yeah, I agree you know with that. I mean? If you're winning games, the yeah, everyone's in different. a everyone's yeah. in a better mood when you're winning, obviously. And we're a little more consistent, but I don't know if it's to the new offense or whatnot, or it's just the, the bottom line is when you win, people are happier. Yeah, yeah, for sure. The best way to say it. All right, let's take one more fan question from Solomon. Who is the fa fastest tight end on the team? You're, you're Check the numbers. Not. Check the I'm numbers not. on game day. Check the numbers on game day. Match is not the fastest. fastest. Who won the bet? <laughs> you're not the fastest. I won. You're faster than Marker Hayden. I beat him on game day. Are you faster than Forties don't count. That's not game speed. In the game. Yeah, I fast. You're Campbell. on kickoff. It's not fair. Yeah, it, it might be on kickoff, but it don't yeah, matter. Max is not the fastest. No, I think I'm, if you go off I'm the numbers, slowish, I think I think Mark had the best forty. Still, did he? Or I think he did. Know. They're both Hayden and Mark are very They're pretty fast. fast. All right, we gotta look those. So they're look they're those definitely up. the fastest tight ends. Make so sure. Max is claiming fastest on the field, mm. but you're saying that Marker Hayden might have the fastest forty. Mm. Yeah. Maybe fastest on special teams. I play faster <laughs> on offense. You like play faster. Making decisions. You run you run deep routes. Get fast speeds. No, but I'm saying make decisions and play fast. Oh, your mind's faster. And I play faster. Oh, you do, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I almost said something. I didn't say it though. <laughs> I couldn't say the other thing I wanted to say. All right, well, this has been a treat. Do you guys have a message you want to share the fans about the game Sunday before we sign off? Uh, be loud. Fill the place up and be loud. Yeah, it helps be excited, out. Be excited, be energized, and, you know, when we're out there, things not are going great, don't be booing, and then when things are going great, be yelling. You know what I mean? It's not like we all, are, you know, football is always a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. Not that we want it to be, not that we're trying to have bad plays, but there may be bad plays, and, you know, it may be a lot of good plays, so... Let's oh. not be a roller coaster and like up and down. Let's just all be all. Just make you know, it a fun environment. Out. It's gonna be a fun oh, game, bad. fun environment. Just yeah. gonna be no rain either. I saw right. If I'm right. No. No. Knock on, knock on wood. No yeah. rain. All right, we will see you guys there on Sunday. Like Max said, be live and we can't <laughs> loud and we can't be wait. Live, live. <laughs> Thanks, guys.